Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It is your host with the absolute least, your boy Solar Fury, back with another Clash Royale video. So in today's video, we have a video which has been requested quite a lot to say the very least. Uh, and this video is another rendition of me ranking the tower skins in Clash Royale. So I believe the last time I did this was during season nine. So it's been a while. We're on season 16 right now. We have a bunch more tower skins. Let me look. There's 19 tower skins in total in Clash Royale and it's safe to say that my rankings are definitely probably different from some other rankings so let's go ahead and get started and as I said my rankings are probably different than a lot of other people's rankings and that's because this is totally subjective this list is 100% my opinion and if any of your guys's opinions do differ from mine then be sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you disagree with of course do it respectfully okay don't yell at me uh, but just leave a comment down below uh, and say what you would change so coming in at very last place at number 19 we have the legendary tower skin which was the tower skin from season 8 so if any of you guys were around for season 8 at all then you may re remember that the season was kind of a sham it was the first time that they did back to legendary um and the whole season was kind of a waste if you ask me and the tower skin just doesn't look good at all sure it is based off of the log but it really doesn't look good at all there's a little bit of elixir dripping off of it but Really, this tower skin, to me, it just looks plain awful. Coming in at number 18, we have the Sandcastle tower skin, which is from season two. So my main issue with this tower skin is that it really doesn't go well with any of the other arenas in the game, besides the ones that were based off of like a beach. Uh, it went well with the season two arena, of course, which this uh, tower skin is from. It also went pretty good with the season 13 arena from not too long ago, because that was also a beach theme. But apart from that, this tower skin doesn't really blend in with anything else. Uh, the concept Concept is pretty dang cool the fact that it is a sandcastle nice little umbrella has some starfish around the base it isn't a bad looking tower skin it just doesn't blend in with many of the other arenas in clash royale coming in at number 17 this may be my first hot take of this video early on we're getting into the hot takes already but we have the dragon tower skin from season 11 so this tower skin is another issue of i don't feel like it really goes well with any of the other arenas it went well with the dragon arena which was a really cool arena it doesn't really go well with anything else and i overall don't like the look of it that much uh, the scaly look to it isn't too appealing to me I uh, the eye on it at the front is kind of creepy looking as well um, overall just not an appealing tower skin that's really all I have to say next up we have the tropical turret tower skin from season 13 this is the other beach themed tower skin in clash royale and in my opinion is the better of the two i think this one looks much better than the sandcastle tower skin although again the issue is it doesn't go well with many of the other arenas although this one is a lot better i like the whole layout of a coconut for the king tower i like the watermelons around it and i like the princess tower skins as well with like the grass skirts and the little hermit crab is also a really nice touch um so it's number 16 on this list on Honestly, from this point out, I don't really think that any of these tower skins are bad. I just think that there are some that are better than others. So pretty much those last four were kind of the ones I just I'm not fond of at all. Really, the last three, I guess the dragon, the legendary and the sandcastle tower skin. I'm pretty fond of this uh, tropical turret tower skin, but really the rest of them from now on, I like all of them. Just some are better than others. All right. Next up at number 15, we have the Tower of Dreams tower skin which was the season 12 tower skin. Definitely one of the most colorful of the tower skins for sure, with the whole thing being pink. It has some gold lining on it as well. It has a whole cloud theme. It's kind of bubbly. Overall, I kind of like this tower skin. It blended in great with the arena that it was with. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad in uh, today's arena. So really nothing spectacular about it, but it's a pretty cool looking tower skin. Coming in at number 14, we have the Ice Hut tower skin from season six. So season six or the first edition of Clashmas was the very first season in Clash Royale to have two tower skins. There is a paid version, which we'll talk about later on. And then there was this free version that you can unlock. And honestly, for a free tower skin, it's kind of solid honestly there's nothing special about it it's very simple it's just igloos with the king tower and the princess tower but really there's nothing that takes away from it it's overall you know a solid tower skin for being free but 
That's really all I gotta say. Nothing too special, but it's not terrible either. Next up, we have the only other free tower skin in Clash Royale, which is the Clan Boat Bastion. And this one was free to celebrate the release of Clan Wars 2 and Season 15. And I know a lot of people got their hands on it because at the time of this recording, you know, I see a lot of people using this tower skin. It's probably the most common tower skin that I see on ladder. But really, kind of like the Ice Hut tower skin, there's nothing too special about it at all. I like the theme that it's, you know, kind of a clan boat and it's kind of sitting on top of water. Water, that's cool uh, we have the oars on the boat for the princess tower we have the little sail on the king tower it's a solid tower skin although one thing that annoys me about this tower skin is the hitboxes from it uh spells are kind of tricky to get on this tower because it looks like it's in a certain position to get spell value but it really isn't uh maybe that's just me being a dumb player uh but sometimes i get tripped up by this tower skin um and placing like a poison on it or something but you know, it's a solid tower skin. Coming in at number 12, we have the Lunar Lantern Tower Skin, which was the very first tower skin of 2020 in season seven, celebrating the Lunar New Year theme. Now, I actually think that this tower skin it's, it's a cool tower skin. It's definitely unique in the fact that like the princess and the king's tower are sitting on balloons and that the balloons are kind of chained down to the ground. I think it's really cool how they represent the Chinese lanterns and they do celebrate a holiday that, you know, isn't truly commonly celebrated anywhere else outside of Asia. So I can really respect that from the Clash Royale team, of course, celebrating the Chinese New Year. Next up, we have the most recent tower skin as of the recording of this video. And this is the Electro Tower skin from season 16. So this tower skin, if you want me to keep it real with you, it's in this position because it really is about as average of a tower skin that you can get. Uh, really, that's not saying anything bad about it at all. It's a solid looking tower skin for sure, uh, but nothing about it stands out. I, it kind of looks cool with like the Tesla coils um, on it. The little electric symbols in the front representing the princess and the uh, king tower look cool as well, but it's really just average. <laughs> <clears throat> And now we are making our way into the top 10 and coming in at number 10, we have the very first tower skin introduced in the Clash Royale with the very first season of the Pass Royale. And this is the Shark Tank tower skin. Now, again, there's nothing really special about this, but there's nothing really wrong about it either. I think for a first tower skin, it was definitely something very nice that Clash Royale did. It has some nice visual effects with the shark swimming around in it, which looks cool. Um, it's kind of bland other than that, but you know, it's meant to be a shark tank. There's not really much you can do to a tank with a shark in it to make it stand out except for the shark in the tank uh but it's a pretty decent tower skin like i said a good first attempt for a tower skin next up we have the jack-o-lantern tower skin from season four shocktober part two as the recording of this video we are on shocktober part three this is from shocktober part two and this is a cool looking tower skin definitely fits the halloween theme very well i actually find myself using this tower skin more than the season 16 tower skin because i like the look of the halloween tower skin it's really the only time of the year that i can use this tower skin and you know like get away with it i guess you could say so it's very solid it definitely represents a pumpkin very well which is what it's meant to do and does a good job at that and also i have a lot of nostalgia for this deck because or this uh tower skin because when this was released was when the elixir golem was released and the elixir golem is one of the cards in that main now and i think we all remember the release of the elixir golem is very interesting at number eight we have the clash mist tower skin which was the other tower skin from season six this was the paid tower skin which you had to of course buy the pass rail to get the other one the ice set tower skin was the free one that you got with the free version of the pass rail and so this is a cool looking tower skin the thing that stands out to me about this one i really like the princess towers for this one how the princess towers kind of look like presents although the king tower it looks pretty good as well it looks like a chimney we have some stockings on the front we have some firewood on the inside and we have a little bit of snow around it this is a tower skin it's meant for christmas but you could really use this any time of the year uh because it pretty much blends in with any of the other arenas so definitely a very good tower skin in my opinion next up we have the tower skin that I for sure find to be the most underrated and unappreciated tower skin. And that is the season 10 tower skin, which is the Treehouse tower skin. I loved the entire theme for season 10 as it was. Season 10, it was like the heist season, I believe. And it was like in the trees and everything. This was the first season with the uh, bonus bank, I believe. It was overall a great season 
good emotes, and the tower skin it definitely made it great as well. I love kind of the abstractness of it. It looks very rough around the edges, but it's done in a good way. Uh, the logos on it, of course, are painted, as you guys can see. And this is a really good tower skin, in my opinion, the most underrated tower skin in Clash Royale, and it's one that I think looks really sick. Coming in at number six, we got the Party Hut tower skin from season five, the Great Goblin Feast. It's almost been the one year anniversary. That's crazy to think, man. Time really does fly. When this tower skin was released, I had less than a thousand subscribers, and now I'm approaching 4,000, which is really interesting to think about. But I really like this tower skin. It is very simplistic in its nature and how it's kind of a pseudo goblin hut uh, with like some lights around it. But it's a really cool tower skin. The lights are honestly not just related to Christmas. You can use the lights really any time of the year. I think it's a super cool tower skin. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the top five. And coming in at number five, we have the gingerbread tower skin. Now, cool fact, this is the only tower skin in Clash Royale that wasn't available through the past Royale, whether free or paid. This was actually available in a separate offer that you could buy in the item shop, I do believe. And in my opinion, I did buy this and it was extremely extremely worth it. This is a really good looking tower skin for the Christmas theme. It looks almost perfect for a gingerbread house. Holy cow. We have like some gumdrops on it. We have some candy canes. There's like a little gingerbread tree with some icing on it. Definitely worth the extra money that you had to pay outside of the past Royale. Really in season six, we got three pretty solid tower skins. Uh, but I really like this tower skin. Super dope. Coming in at numero cuatro, we have the Fondant Fortress tower skin from season nine, which was March of 2020, aka the four year anniversary of Clash Royale being in existence globally. And this is a really good looking tower skin, of course, to support the four year anniversary of Clash Royale. That's honestly kind of why this tower skin is so high for me, uh, because it's a birthday cake to celebrate one of my favorite games of all time a game that has impacted me so much in my life on YouTube and other facets of my life, which I don't want to get into because I can make a whole video about that. But even though there's that kind of bias towards it, I really like the tower skin. It looks like a birthday cake, which is really cool. Um, if it's when it becomes my birthday, I'm going to use this tower skin. It's a cool looking tower skin. I absolutely love this tower skin. And then coming in at number three, we have the Mega Knight tower skin from season 14, which was prepare for war. Now this season overall was pretty lackluster. It was, it was like back to legendary for like the third time season three was back to legendary season eight was back to legendary and even though the season wasn't technically back to legendary it basically was back to legendary again uh but in my opinion this tower skin made up for the uh lackluster overall season also the emotes made up for i absolutely love the emotes in this season but i really like this mega knight tower skin it does resemble a mega knight for sure and it can go well with really any arena in clash royale we have the little mace on front we have like the little tail thing i don't know what you call that like the knights or princes like hat thing whatever uh but it's overall just super solid tower skin one of, it's it's one that i don't think you can go wrong with to be honest and then coming in at number two we have the fortress tower skin now this tower skin is super dope it's very very clean but it really does represent clash royale i feel and it represents like that fortress that medieval type thing because we got a moat going around and we got the floating rocks and it really does look like a castle and that's what i think the tower skins are meant to look like so really i have no complaints with this tower skin at all it is definitely one of my favorite tower skins and that is why it is number two on this list and then ladies and gentlemen my favorite tower skin in all of clash royale is actually a very recent one as the recording of this video because it is the other tower skin from season 15 and it is the colossal castle tower skin this looks so amazing it reminds me of a lot of greek architecture which i think is really cool like with the robust pillars like if you guys know the parthenon if you maybe live in greece or have been to greece or have just seen pictures of it this looks a lot like that and i absolutely love it it's just so clean it's the marble it has the waterfall there's nothing wrong with this tower skin in my opinion it looks absolutely amazing and yes i know i didn't include the default tower skin in clash royale but this list was primarily meant to be just the past royale tower skins or the ones that were available to purchase so the default tower skin i'll keep it real is going to be in last place uh because it's 
this is kind of basic. <laughs> but yeah, gamers, that's going to wrap it up for today's Clash Royale video. If you guys did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave a like down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And as I said at the beginning of the video, be sure to leave a comment down below if you disagree with any of my rankings. Or if you want to put your own rankings in the comment section, then be sure to do that as well. I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this subject. But anyway, gamers, it's your boy Solar Fury signing off. Peace out, guys. Have a nice day.